Yo, what is up guys? It is Ripper and here with a new video for you guys. Now, let me just right away state this. If you guys have a different opinion, I totally understand. It Obviously, this topic is up for debate and I totally get it. Be sure if you have a totally different opinion or even if you agree with me, post down in the comments your opinion and what you think of this whole thing because I think right now this is going to obviously make a lot of smaller smaller youtubers very angry and i want to hear your sides so enjoy the video and like i said if you guys disagree agree put down in the comments and let me know what you guys think so guys to start off today i just want to automatically start off with the topic the whole blog post that came out recently and it's been blowing up and it is that you are going to now have to have a total of 10,000 total views in order to get ads played on your video so in long term basically you have to have 10,000 total views to make money that's essentially what it's saying a lot of people right away are going to be like, whoa, 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 like that's so wrong. What's going on now coming from someone, keep this in mind. I'm only at, all right, 9,300 views. All right, like 9,330 maybe to be exact. So, you know, this is coming from a person who doesn't even have the count yet for it. Do I think I'm going to reach it soon? Yeah, I'm giving it like a month and a half, maybe. Yeah, maybe a month and a half, a month. I'll get the 10,000. But the point is that this is coming from a person who doesn't even have the total views yet. But I truthfully and heartfully, like deep down, agree with this. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, whoa, 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 Ripper, why? Why do you agree with this? Well, the reason I agree with this whole thing, first of all, I'm going to give you three reasons why I agree with this. Number one, it's going to automatically show you who are the real YouTubers and who are the fake YouTubers. Now, what do I mean, obviously? The real YouTubers are the ones who are doing it not just for money, all right? Not though, not people who are obviously there's people depending on it out there like Rain, obviously phase the phase members, right? But they started off doing YouTube, literally as a hobby, working at working at part time jobs, working at McDonald's. Like they did normal jobs that us people do who don't have that account, right? And a lot of people obviously forget about that when they're like, oh. Hey, Ripper, why are you going to agree with that? And, you know, they're making money, right? Like, they're doing, they're going to do YouTube for money. My point is that they didn't start off by doing it. And that automatically brings you straight to the second point of it's going to automatically prove to you, all right, who has the guts to just put their whole heart into this? Who has the potential to put their whole heart into their channel and grow? Because let's just be honest here, all right? Let's just, let's just be completely honest. There's people who create channels. Obviously, it's going to have one subscriber, zero subscribers. But they go on and just post nothing but basically threat videos. They go on and they post videos basically just sending hate to people. And sometimes, obviously, the biggest issue is terrorists. They're going on and posting these videos. And... You know, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, like, Ripper, that's, you know, that that's the least of the worry. You know, these channels, they aren't even partnered or whatever. Yet, there's networks partnering these channels, and they are adding money. And these people are getting money off of posting videos, first of all, that they don't even put work into. So, and the fact, also, the main point, obviously, is that the whole terrorist idea. Why are we putting ads on this? That's, like, my main point I'm trying to get across here, for at least point two. So... Please understand that, and obviously, some people aren't. So, moving on to point three. So, guys, for for point three, this is gonna be very simple and clear. All right, and I'm gonna try to make this as simple as I can to you guys. According to YouTube, in order really to become a successful YouTuber, as they say, obviously, to make it as a career, is around a hundred k. Truthfully just to even maybe own a small apartment 100k and why obviously is that a big deal well why why is 100k going to be put into this it's going to show something and it's going to i think at the end of the day it's going to show who's really into youtube for their subscribers it's going to show who's doing youtube for their fan base 
And it's and it's gonna point out all the fake people. It's gonna show all the people who are just in it. Oh, give me the money, give me the money. No, like it's that's not what YouTube's obviously YouTube wasn't made for. And YouTube was made for people to just post videos, post whatever they want, and not be judged for it. And obviously that could go. It's it's very hypocritical saying for them to do. But whatever, that, that's beside the point. But the point I'm trying to get across here is, it's going to show who's really doing YouTube. For their fan base for their subscribers who's going to go help out their supporters who are supporting them and you know this is gonna give you guys a chance in order to be like all right like it's gonna basically make those people who maybe just put little effort in it's gonna force them to do higher effort videos to make higher quality videos and i think that's gonna be so great because i mean let's just be honest here we all have videos on our channel obviously that aren't the best video they're old videos maybe they're new videos but you're still trying to improve whatever like i can admit myself all my videos they aren't perfect they never have been and they obviously never will be no video is ever perfect but you can at least strive to be the best as you can and right now i have a lot of room to grow <clears throat> i know a lot of my subscribers out there because i talk to a lot of you guys uh, i mean specifically people like it's for channels i reviewed that are subscribed to me you all have room to grow. And I mean, even for people who maybe never got a channel review, just look at the issues, look at the little details of your channel and be like, all right, what can I improve to do better? You know, and I think this 10,000 like total viewer rule is going to make people strive to be the best person they can to make, basically make their channel the best they've ever had it. And that's truthfully why I agree. Now, like I said, guys, if you are someone who disagrees with me and is going to go like, oh, dislike the video, whatever, just please take into consideration that I'm not even a person with 10,000 views, all right? I'm close to it, but I'm not, I don't even have the 10,000 view count yet. And I'm telling you guys that I agree with this. That I've seen other smaller YouTubers tell me with even like 500 view total views, they're like, yeah, we agree with this because this is going to make people do better. This is going to make people strive to be better people. At the end of the day, guys, just look at this in a positive manner. Look at this as a chance. It's basically an open window for you. This is going to give a lot of smaller YouTubers a chance because they even said with this policy that, yeah, you aren't going to make ads, obviously, on the video. But they are going to start adding people to, like, home pages. They're going to try to add smaller YouTubers to the trending page. They're going to do whatever they can to help smaller YouTubers grow. And yes, this is going to make a lot of people just like all these smaller channels just quit YouTube. I, I totally will agree that that's going. I know it's going to happen. But I'm going to tell you guys right now. If, if there's people out there who are watching this video who are like, oh, this is going to make me want to quit YouTube. And that you're proving you're doing nothing to prove the point. Just listen to me real quick. Look at this as a goal for you. All right, look at this 10,000, big 10,000 number as a goal. Don't look at this as, oh, this is like a high amount. I'm down here. This is going to be impossible. No, look at this as you have, a, you have a window of opportunity right now. This is your chance to make the best, best quality you can for your channel. This is the time for you to make the best thumbnails, the best, like, be sure to render videos, obviously, and like the highest quality you can. Be sure to be like interactive with your subscribers. Do whatever you can to get people to go to your channel, to make people want to stay on your channel. And I think this is really going to force people to connect with their fan base a lot. Because let's be honest, if you don't connect with your fan base, who's going to want to stay subscribed to you? That's not how it works. So just saying, I just, I really want to make this point very clear, at least on my side. I hope I did. And like I said, guys, I really want to know what you guys think about this because this is going to be a very yes, no, why, and all these things, okay? And so I want your guys' opinions. Be sure to post them down in the comments below. I'll be sure to read every single comment. I promise you, I'll be sure to comment back to every single comment. I don't care if you dislike the video or like, oh, go attack, like, look. Before you go and dislike the video, that's all, all I ask is for you to just take this into consideration and just think about what I said. All right. So I hope you guys under I hope you guys truthfully understand what I mean today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It really does mean a lot. I will see you guys later. Peace. 
I seen a lot of shit I shouldn't have, but never forgot it though. Brothers on the corner selling crack like it was not a though. Walk inside my kitchen, baking soda all up on the floor. Cody's banging on the dough, while gripping the 44. I was just a youngin', but this type of shit I seen before. Y'all see a white boy, but my daddy a Negro. Half breed motherfucker, grip the mic and he flow. I just wanna.